city is a soap opera in which we act out our lives. The city is a subliminal soap opera, a smutty subplot for some. We devise order to maintain the infinite trudge. We play our parts well. Say, my subjective odyssey at bait your subjective odyssey. Say, Joyce's Ulyssian odyssey allows entry into a more terrific version of the turbulence than thine own. One of breaking out, giving out, making out, dolling up, doling out, clawing, clout, crying, poor mouth, debt march, rebirth, timepiece, mouthpiece. In need of touch, please. While blooming amidst the noise and decay. The city offers a reflective ramble to mark the anniversary of meeting Enora and what that represents. Does Nora have to be a person though? Can Nora be a thing like the culmination of physical and spiritual in the belly of a dying star? Think about that now, on your objective trek through the sublime and the surreal, the neglected and subjugated. The city has been known to lead a person on. In the age of budget air travel and constant content creation compulsions, how many geographical scalps have you acquired on your travels? How many notches are buckled on thy belt? And do you wear it well? Do you wonder and humble awe at all you saw? Or do you use it as an affectation in company when the silence becomes unbearable? The city befriends me, reminds me of the constant, comforts me when I rant at unnecessary change. No taste this mob, butchering it all, monsters they are. Hockey do, he's a mate. I'm speaking, of course, of the city of the mind, the estates and the neighborhoods of the imagination. where Joyce lives, look. Joyce is standing there, staring, rattling keys in his hand, goggles ardently fixed. Ah, you will, you will, you will. I will, I will. Go on, yeah. The clues are there for us to free. We'd only shut our eyes and see. <laughs>